Now let us discuss the uh, space vector representation of uh, uh, ABC system. So first of all, let's draw that one. Let's suppose that this is um, x x axis, and uh, this one is the y axis. Basically, space vector representation is the uh, representation of a three phase system in the two uh, coordinates uh, x and y coordinates uh, in the two dimensional plane, plane formed by the x and y. So we have considered x and y axis that may represent alpha beta that may represent dq. So now let's suppose that our phase A is somewhere over here uh, phase A axis and that is at angle theta from your uh, x axis. Then your phase B is uh, let's suppose somewhere over here. And the phase C is somewhere over here. So phase A is making angle theta with the uh, x-axis. Now how we can represent uh, this A, B, C? Um, we can consider any generic quantity, for example, uh, Q, that will be representing either voltage, current, or flux, anything. So Q A can be written as uh, Q into sine of um, omega t. Then Q B can be written as Q into sine of omega t plus 2 pi by 3. We can have uh, the minus 2 pi by 3 as well if we have the opposite sequence. And the Q C will be equal to Q into sine of omega t minus 2 pi by 3 or 4 uh, plus 4 pi by 3. So um, these are the quantities which are going to vary along their um, own axis. Phase A is varying along the A axis, phase B is varying along the uh, B axis and the phase C is varying along the C axis. Right? So how to uh, represent it in the XY plane or you can say the space vector plane. So we can represent it with the help of uh, projection, taking the projection of phase A uh, along the x-axis. So if I take that uh, projection, I can find out the next x component that is taking the projection of phase A along the x component, then taking the projection of phase B along x component, x-axis, and uh, then taking the projection of phase C uh, along the x component. So this is this will be the net x component. So if you look at that one, that will be simply equal to if I consider this angle theta. So whatever is the magnitude of uh, QA, phase A, multiplied by cos of theta will give me the projection of phase A along the x-axis. Then the projection of phase B along x-axis, so that will be obtained um, um, by taking cos of theta plus 2 pi by 3 because this angle is um, 2 pi by 3. So theta plus 2 pi by 3 will be the total angle with the x-axis. So I can write it like that theta plus 2 pi by 3 and then taking the QC and its component along its projection along the QC axis. So the net angle now uh, will be this one starting from here till this point. So this is uh, 4 pi by 3 and the theta will be added in that because we are taking its angle with the x-axis. So we can uh, write it like that, that this is equal to cos of theta plus 4 pi by 3. So this is the net x component, right? And now let's uh, find out the net y component, y uh, um, x is um, um, value for the projection of a, b and c. So now if you take uh, q a, you will have to multiply it with the um, sine of theta. So Q A into um, sine of theta will give you the projection of phase A along Y axis. Similarly, you can find out the projection of phase B uh, along the Y axis uh, that will be obtained by simply multiplying this one with uh, sine of theta plus 2 pi by 3 and then taking the projection of phase C along the Y axis that will be um, Q theta plus 4 pi by 3. Now we can uh, add these two equations, x and y equation, and we can uh, write it in the vector form uh, like this. Right? So um, this x and y, these two equations, added up together. So this part will be added up. This is, you can say, the real part. This one is the imaginary part. So cos of theta plus j sine theta 
then coming towards this part um, q b um, with the sine function q b with the sine function so adding them together so you can write down this term and the q c will be written similarly right so now uh, you can use the um, higher identity and you can represent uh, it like that that x plus uh, j y that is equal to q a into e raised power j theta and similarly over here you can write that q b into e raised power here the um, this one is theta plus uh, 2 pi by 3 so it will be e re into j theta plus 2 pi by 3 right and uh, for the last term and uh, this one is theta plus 4 pi by 3 theta plus uh, 4 pi by 3 so we can write it like that at qc into e raised power j theta plus 4 pi by 3 so what is this x plus um, iota y this is basically the space vector uh, representing x and y component uh, of the uh, a b c system so uh, we are going to call it the space vector so space vector will be equal to this part q a into e raised power j theta plus q b into e raised power j theta plus 2 pi by 3 uh, plus q c into e raised power j theta plus 4 pi by 3 now from this equation let me call it equation a you can take out uh, e raised power g theta uh, j theta common out and this equation can be written like this okay so e raised power j theta has been taken common out here uh, this q a and q b and q c are the function of time so you can also uh, write it like that at e raised power j theta into q a t plus uh, q b into uh, q b a function of time then e raised power j 2 pi by 3 uh, plus q c which is also the function of time into e raised power j 4 pi by 3 so you can write down this equation uh, like this because q a q b and q c are the function of time and you are taking one time step uh, to calculate the space factor okay now let's uh, define over here that uh, this uh, e raised power j 2 pi by 3 let's suppose that is equal to a so uh, with this definition you can say that if we take the square on both sides we can write e raised power j 4 pi by 3 that is equal to a square so with this definition the uh, space vector that is now being represented by this q in generic now we can write uh, this equation like that that q is equal to uh, e raised power j theta into uh, q a plus q b into a plus q c into a square okay so over here we have not considered the uh, magnitude uh, invariance in order to consider the magnitude invariance that is the magnitude of the space vector should be equal to the magnitude of the phase a voltage you will have to multiply it with 2 by 3 right so in this equation uh, theta is basically the uh, space x y plane and theta is in that uh, uh, plane and it is the angle between phase a and the real axis that you have uh, seen in this uh, diagram over here that um, uh, this theta this theta is the angle between phase a and the real axis x axis that uh, later on we will see maybe the alpha beta axis maybe the dq axis so we are going to call it in generic that is the x axis or the real axis over here right so um, this uh, theta is the angle in space x y plane that is between a and uh, real axis and it is also called the displacement angle and what is this e raised uh, power j 2 pi by 3 this is basically the unit vector uh, of the phase a and e raised power j 4 pi by 3 is the unit vector of your phase c so let's look at this diagram over here this is uh, let's suppose e raised power j theta uh, right so then it will be e raised uh, uh, e raised power j theta plus 2 pi by 3 and this is e raised power j theta plus 2 pi by 3 and if this a axis is aligned with the x axis then it, it, it will become e raised power um, 0 that is 1 and uh, for the b axis it will become e raised power j 2 pi by 3 and for c axis it will become e raised power j 4 pi by 3 so let's see it uh, with the help of the diagram okay so here in this uh, diagram you can uh, see this thing that um, this is the x axis and this one is the y axis 
and the phase A is aligned with the x-axis. So it means that theta will be equal to uh, 0 in this case. So with this, uh, you can write down the space vector equation uh, like that. That is, it is equal to QA plus A into QB uh, plus A square into QCT. So um, just compare it over here. Um, this this theta when this theta is going to become equal to um, zero so this is going to become one so your space vector will be given by uh, this equation right so uh, q a plus a into q b plus a square into q c t this will be the space vector so theta is uh, equal to zero usually uh, because this makes our analysis uh, simplified uh, so we can easily transform from abc frame of reference to um, x y coordinates with the help of uh, this transformation and we will get a constant uh, matrix that we have already seen in the previous videos. So theta is usually considered zero. So to have the same magnitude uh, of the space vector as that of the phase A, usually a constant uh, that is equal to two by three is used and that is multiplied over here. So that you can see if we multiply this equation with the K that uh, is shown over here and that K is equal to two by three, then the magnitude of the space vector will be equal to the magnitude of your one particular phase. Right, so we can uh, say that uh, this is going to become the uh, magnitude invariant transformation. Basically, it's the Clark transformation. You are translating uh, uh, your ABC frame of reference into XY frame of uh, reference. Uh, that may be the alpha, beta, maybe the DQ. Later on, we will discuss more in detail about that one. But it is basically the transformation translating your three phase system into the two phase system. So you are representing your space vector in the two dimensional plane if if i say this is the space vector so it has the um, x component um, this one and the y component is this one and we have seen the equation for these x and y components uh, over here in the first slide here you can see the equation for the x component and the equation for the uh, sorry this one is the for x component this is for the y component and using these two together if we define it in the form of the vector so we can write down this one and that is our space vector so space vector is um, um, formed by the x and y components so it is basically the uh, representation of the Clark transformation so if I summarize this video we have discussed the um, space vector representation of a three phase system and we have um, uh, seen that how we can uh, convert ABC into the XY plane right that's all from this video thank you very much